we will take a, a look into last night's action. I've only seen a bit of the replay uh, this morning of Tank Davis versus Garcia. Um, Josh, give us your verdict and your summary of, of the fight. Go ahead, mate. Yeah, so it kind of went as I expected as far as I thought it would be competitive to start and eventually Devontae Davis would probably break him down and stop him as far as Hector Garcia. Now, I will say Hector Garcia, he had some pretty decent moments. Davis, he seems to be thinking a bit more. I guess he's generally had some slower starts, but yeah, this was a fairly slow start overall just by comparison to some of uh, his other fights i'd imagine for hector garcia as well but eventually they got into it a little bit and of course size always comes into play with davis who is oftentimes going to be the shorter fighter i don't know if he's ever been the taller fighter in any of his fights maybe against cruz i uh, yeah. can't remember how tall cruz is but uh that being said uh davis i thought he did a good job of just kind of biding his time and eventually he started to land some big shots and you could tell Garcia was certainly putting on that sort of shield but I'd imagine a lot of those shots had to hurt because when he was getting caught cleanly uh, they seemed to have some extra pop behind him for sure which is what we tend to expect with Davis but we know that Garcia was also coming up from 130 pounds now I know some people mentioned that he's uh, taller, or I guess you could consider a big 130 pounder. So putting on that weight shouldn't have, in theory, been an issue. And I guess there may have been mention of him potentially moving up at some point soon either way. But that being said, uh, I believe that, of course, Garcia, you know, he was just in there with a guy who, could, who, who packs a punch. And Davis, despite his uh, short stature, I mean, he, he just has a means of generating the right type of force to get the most impact from his punches, it would seem. And I guess you could consider him a knockout artist in some sense. And uh, his wins, I think only two are, or two of them haven't been knockouts or have gone the distance. So I think he's exciting. There were a number of people who showed up for the fight. This was here in Washington, D.C. I considered it at times myself uh, in terms of getting tickets to go, but I opted uh, not to. But that being said, I think it showed that Davis, he, he is a star, most certainly, and he can get fans to come out and support. But I, I do want to see this Garcia fight, Ryan Garcia, that is, because I think this will be the type of contest that will kind of get one of them or maybe even both of them to that next level because I think both bring a lot to the table and they have styles that are almost opposite, some of that due to the size. And I think it's going to make for a very interesting contest. So hopefully this goes as planned as far as April of this year. And I think it could be a uh, very, very plus star making performance for both of them to push the ceiling even more for the two of the fighters. But that being said, in, reg in relation to this fight in itself, I think Davis did as expected. That's probably the best way to sum it up. Yeah. Yeah. There was a um, bit of commotion over Christmas period for him, I believe. And there was question marks whether that had have any impact on how his performance was. Um, yeah. and Garcia was, I guess, maybe quite a live dog, a bit underrated. I think he was, he had a couple of upset wins last year, potentially. Mm -hmm. Um, so it was a good, a good fight for him on paper, and obviously he came through. Um, what did you make of it, Alex? Gervonta Davis, uh, I mean, typical Gervonta Davis performance, right? Yeah. Uh, like you said, very patient. I mean, he's basically an athletic Canelo Alvarez, <laughs> you know, kind of sees what you do, how you react, starts to see how he lands and then turns it on and starts landing the big punches more and more and harder and faster. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, uh, Hector Garcia found out literal, literally lights out. Hector Garcia said he could not see. Uh, that's how hard Javante Davis hits. 
um you know you can say it's because of this or because of that i mean look at his results leah santa cruz took the best nap of that year that we've ever seen on film right mm. um you know uh who was someone else that he fought uh you know besides the isaac cruz fight everybody falls to the hands of gervonta yeah. you know Ro so roland romero Roly, there we go roly you know uh it looked like the first hard shot davis landed lights out thinking he's okay not knowing that he's on spaghetti legs you know looked like he could have fell if someone blew on him so yeah the, the power is real i don't care if you can say well this guy's uh you know uh not as good or he's from another weight class i mean the proof is in the pudding this dude mm -hmm. tank is probably the best nickname you can give to him <laughs> um but we also have to say something else like you know knockouts are exciting but in the fashion he's doing it throwing 20 30 punches around it's not that exciting yeah. he needs the right dance partner is Ryan Garcia that guy? You know, I think more of the anticipation and knowing how highly skilled, I mean, you know, like I said, the flashiness, you know, they both have that speed. Uh, Ryan's probably faster. They both have that power. Gervonta's definitely the heavier hitter, but Ryan obviously can hit too. Mm -hmm. So I think with that, it's exciting. But I mean, you know, there, I don't want to see 30, 40 punches around unless, mm -hmm. unless you're landing at like 40%, you know. But, uh, you know, once again, you know, this was just you know this is just another bump on the road and uh you know he treated it as a speed bump as it was yeah uh, hector garcia is a solid fighter as you mentioned last year you know he had the upset win against undefeated chris kohlberg yeah. goes and fight roger gutierrez who's a solid fighter you know and he won in dominating fashion both those fights nice and clear so hector garcia you know some people there is a little bit about him quitting you go in the ring and get hit by tank and we'll <laughs> see how you react you know what i mean so um you know, thank you, Javante, for for putting on a show. You could tell the people the people came out. Um, you know, we got a lot of names on this card, and uh, we were viewing, even though it was to one forty five um, uh, in the morning the next day. So this was mm -hmm. not a Saturday night fight. This was a Sunday morning fight. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, give mm -hmm. us Tank versus Ryan. Yeah, I um just to touch on on that fight last night. Um, I watched this morning. Like I say, that's my stream. Um, it was a YouTube video that I watched, so it wasn't the, the best of quality. So I couldn't properly tell of the shots because it, it's like very cropped, so you can't really see the whole action. Um, so it was really difficult to tell like when shots were landing, how hard they were landing, and so like it was pretty tricky to see, you know, how banged up and, and stuff Garcia was at the time of the stoppage. And there was also all of the issues with the crowd that was going on, which huh. was really distracting. Um, so that was crazy, but um, going back to the stoppage when when the uh, the corner pulled him out or he, or he quit in the corner, whatever he did, mm. that crowd reaction was fantastic. You know, they all just were up and jumping, and you can tell he, you know he's he's got a, a huge following and he is a big star. I've been quite high on Tank Davis for quite a few years, and I always thought he was possibly the best of those lightweight guys. Um, I still think that as well. I think he probably could be the, the top one of, of all of them. Um, I think he possibly beats Ryan Garcia if they do face each other uh, earlier this year. Um, so with that fight ahead, let's have some early predictions. Josh, what do you think the outcome of that fight would be? <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, I'm going to be probably in the minority as far as uh, what the majority of the people will say, but I do think that Ryan Garcia poses a lot of problems for Tank Davis, and I, I, I like Tank. I think it's going to be a matter of if Tank catches Garcia in the right manner, can Garcia recover from such? But I also think that Garcia has the ability to catch Tank in a way and hit him with some shots that probably will affect him a bit more than some have in the past as far as when some fighters have caught him. And, I, you know, I lean, I think it's certainly one of those fights that is, you know, that can be considered 50-50. But as far as those just measurables and just how those things stack up, I lean a little bit towards Ryan Garcia. And okay. I know you're probably gonna, not going to hear a ton of that, but my early prediction certainly leans a little bit towards 
Ryan Garcia being on the winning side, just given what I've seen from him thus far and how he matches up size wise with Tate Davis. Nice. Uh, go on, Alex. What, what would what do you say? Uh, viewers, just keep in mind, Josh is from DC, the DMV, and Baltimore and uh, DC are uh, rivals. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, but see, I definitely get what you're saying. Sorry to interrupt. I'm, I'm a massive fan of The Wire, so maybe I'm mm. biased. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, so, so it's, it's basically like there, Manchester right? versus Liverpool rivalry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, uh, cl- you know, pretty close. Cl- yeah, proximity, but anyway, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, yeah, I think that's the biggest thing when it comes to that fight. Ryan Garcia's length with his speed and power versus Gervonta Davis's, you know, ring IQ and power. You know, how are they going to mesh? I'm telling you this. It's not going to be many punches thrown, but every <laughs> punch, every punch mm-hmm. that's being thrown, you're thinking, this could take take the other guy's head off. Yeah. It could put his lights out. It could be a knockdown. So uh, I'm very excited. Um, but I'm going to say it's going to be the same thing we've been seeing with Javante. Um, you know, it's going to be, you know, little by little, figuring out what works, what mistakes Ryan makes, which defensively he makes a lot. Um, but keep in mind, Ryan Garcia is a multinational amateur champion you know he won many many national tournaments he was highly regarded as an amateur and gervonta i mean come on man we seen him fight over and over again we just watched this again the dude the dude's good the dude has every he, i mean he's literally like i said a mini canelo mm-hmm. i mean he's 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 beating good guys and he's doing it you know with with you know great stoppages you know he's stopping people the way other guys just they they only can dream of so yeah, I think Javante gets a late eleventh round stoppage against Ryan Garcia. Oh, I'm putting round. money on that round specific. He's gone round specific. <laughs> I like it. I love that. Yeah, I, I, I go with that. Um, maybe maybe not that late. I got but into the second half of the fight. Um, like I say, Javante's mini. I'd say mini Canelo with Tyson power. Mm-hmm. Um, prime, prime Tyson. Um, I think that. Garcia is 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 more um, lanky, isn't he? he um, mm-hmm. Taller, which might cause him some problems. But I think, in terms of, it's not a, an exact science, but their frames to take a, a solid shot. I think tank squat and he's probably got a better chin, even though it's not really fully been tested. But then again, neither is Ryan Garcia, as I don't believe. Um, but you know, Leo Santa Cruz is that same kind of build, I guess, and. Um, Tank found a way to, to stop him and that could be the same result. Anyway, we'll discuss that uh, when the time comes that they're going to um, get around to fighting. Hopefully, I think you mentioned earlier, Josh, it was aiming for April. So hopefully that's yeah. the case and we will discuss it again in the future live stream with some proper final predictions. And-